Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Hi guys, I'm Tessa Smith with mamasgeeky.com. I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me today. Uh, thought the movie was really, really good. I, I was surprised at how much I really enjoyed it and wanted to go back and watch it a second time. Good. Um, oh, good to hear. <laughs> Your Abigail... room looks incredible. I just have oh. to say, it looks amazing. It's like the best. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Thank you. The pinball machine gets very distracting. I'm not going to lie. Great. No, it's I hard to work in here. <laughs> uh, Abigail, Angel goes on such a journey in this. And I'd, I'd love to know, were you able to kind of get yourself out of that self, self-loathing self while you were filming? Or is it something that kind of lived with you through the whole thing? That's a really good question. I mean, I always try to, as an actor, separate myself from the role. Um, as best as I can. Um, but, you know, with, with material like this, it is, it can be, you know, I mean, you, at the end of the day, you are the one in the situation, you know, <laughs> acting out these abusive situations. And um, I'd be lying if I said it didn't, you know, take a toll on me afterwards. And I didn't kind of need to, you know, I, w I went home, I stayed, t I, like, spent time with my mom, I was good. But um, yeah, no, I mean, it, it, I definitely try to, to to separate myself but yeah i mean it's very heavy material and it's um it is it's it's definitely a lot to you know take on psychologically so it's harrowing yeah yeah. yeah so yeah it's definitely um yeah having the separation is a is a good um thing to have i believe yeah and then tom for you even like on set um, I imagine you had to see some of the stuff like going through the abusive scenes and all that. So how did you kind of deal with separating that when you left the set? I think I, I kind of come from a theater background anyway. So I kind of, I will always keep it very, very separate. And it's mm -hmm. always, you know, when you're on set and you're doing the work, then you're kind of in that zone. And when you're not, it's, it's, it's just another world for me. Um, but yeah, to see some of the stuff you had to go through, especially this, the scene where she, um, Angel scrubbing herself with kind of rocks in the river and trying to wash herself clean. I remember we shot that and um, watching her shoot that before I kind of come in and, and take her out of the river um, was awful. Like to see her kind of going through it, um, the things that you know you have to do, it's quite a harrowing experience. Yeah, it's intense. There's definitely some intense moments. Um, yeah. All worth it in the end, yeah. but definitely a lot. Oh, a lot of, the best, yeah. And we heaviness. had a wonderful crew too yeah, that, we, you know, it was, created a very safe, yeah. good environment. So, I mean, that's always yeah. um, a wonderful thing. Everyone to have was so to, dedicated to like mm -hmm. the job and like the script, and everyone loved the work so much that we just really wanted to do it justice. So, I think that always helps. You know, everyone's kind of in it for the right reasons. Yeah, that's that's good to know. Um, I'm curious what drew you both to want to be a part of this. Did you read the book before or not until after you got um, got the part? Um, you had. Had you read the book before you auditioned? I had not. I hadn't either. No, I, I read it before my audition, just as I got the audition through, but I never, I've never even heard of it before. Yeah, I, I had friends and family who, who really loved the book, but I read the script and I was just, you know, I was just in awe of the... Um, the material and the the subject matter. I mean, I I was instantly drawn to Angel's story and um, the things that she's had to go through, and I was so inspired by her strength. And mm -hmm. um, I just was so passionate about her story and this love story. And I feel like it was, you know, the the situation that she's in is something that needs to be um, talked about more. And mm -hmm. kind of, um, I feel like, brought to light in, <clears throat> so me, in the world. As yeah, well. like it's not. This isn't. A, you know, it's a situation it's, that we think. Oh well, it's it ha that's what happened back then in you know California gold rush times. But actually, oh, it's good. happening yeah. now more than ever. And it's one of those kind of unspoken things that people don't really discuss. And yeah. so, to have you know, translated it from the book into a film was beautiful. I thought, you know, Francine and DJ, the director, did such a great job um, on, on bringing their book to life, which can be a really tricky thing, but I thought it was stunning when I read the script for the first time. Yeah, um, so real quick, last question. They're telling me to wrap up, but I just gotta know, do you guys believe in love at first sight? Because uh, Tom, your character definitely believes in it. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. <laughs> That's all I'll say, yeah, I do. I've fallen in love with people before on, on, on first sight. It's probably too much really? information, but yeah. yeah <laughs> Yeah, you know. Interesting. 
I don't know. Yeah, maybe into the wild. So it's kind of yeah. yeah. (laughs) I don't know. No, I do. Yeah, I think you. Sometimes you can. I think there's infatuation at first sight, right? Yeah. No. I sometimes I'm like. (laughs) Yeah, I think you can know. Since I, I think you can know. Maybe I'm just a romantic. I'm a bit of a romantic at heart, so maybe it's just that kind of thing. Interesting. I'm a but, cynic. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, again, thank you guys so much for taking the time. Really thank enjoyed the movie. So much. Can't thank wait you. for everyone to see it. Thank so you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.